Hey, it's Angela from the blog Angela and Marie Made. Today I'm going to show you how Brandon and I installed our shiplap ceiling with real shiplap. We're starting our guest bathroom makeover and one of the major problems with the space is the popcorn ceiling. Instead of removing the popcorn ceiling like we have with plenty of other rooms in our house, we decided we just want to cover it up this time and we're going to use shiplap to do that. Alright, let's get started. We found our real shiplap boards at Lowe's and they came pre-primed. We bought the 12 foot boards and had them cut in half so they would fit in our car. They also come in 8 foot sizes. The first step is to prep your ceiling for the shiplap and mark the studs. Begin by removing any vent covers or lights that are on the ceiling. Use a stud finder and mark the studs on the ceiling. You can use a chalk line to mark a stud line across the ceiling. I didn't know where my chalk line was, so I just used a board to draw a line from the stud mark on each side of the ceiling. Step two is to cut the shiplap to size. Once you know what direction your studs are running, you can determine which way to attach the shiplap so that it's perpendicular to the studs and both sides of the shiplap board go into a stud. Measure the ceiling length to determine the cut length for the shiplap boards and cut them using a miter saw. If you're going to install crown molding like us or another type of trim, you can cut your shiplap boards a little bit shorter since the gap will be covered by the molding or the trim. Just make sure to measure how far out your molding will go so you know how much extra coverage you have. I highly recommend using molding or trim to make the shiplap installation process easier than trying to cut the boards perfectly to size since walls can be crooked. But you can do it that way if you prefer. Step three is to install the first shiplap board. Apply construction adhesive to one of the shiplap boards. Make sure to apply it to the back of the shiplap. It's not the easiest to tell what the back versus the front is with these pre-primed boards unless there's a sticker on the back, but each board has a short edge and a longer edge. The shorter edge is the back and the longer edge is the front side. Install the first shiplap board to the ceiling, starting at one end of the room and making sure it's perpendicular to the ceiling studs. Install with two inch brad nails and a brad nailer into the ceiling studs and into the drywall where needed. Continue with installing the next board the same way. At some point you will probably run into a light vent or fan hole on the ceiling and you will need to make special cuts on the shiplap for these using a jigsaw or another special cutting tool. For our recess lights, we hauled up the round light cover over the board and traced the circle we needed to cut out. We used our jigsaw to make the circle cut. After making the first half of the circle cut, we held up another board and finished tracing the round light cover again to make the rest of the circle cut out on our next board. Then we attached both of them to the ceiling. For rectangular cuts for our vent and fan, we just held the board up in place and marked where we needed to cut the board, either with a jigsaw or a miter saw. The cuts don't have to be perfect since the edges are going to be covered by the vent covers.
continue installing the shiplap boards. It helps to have a second person holding the board up in place on one side, while the other person nails the board into the ceiling on the other side to make the process go faster. Once you get to the last board, you will likely have to rip it to size along one edge. Measure the board width size needed for the remaining gap and rip the board to this width. A table saw or circular saw with straight edge guide is best to use, but a jigsaw can be used as well if you're going to be using molding or trim to cover the cut edge. After the shiplap has been installed, install your crown molding or trim. If you don't want to do crown molding cuts, something as simple as quarter round can be used to cover the edges. For our crown molding, we initially started using the classic no compound mitered cut vertically nested method. But the inside corners were tough to get right, so we ended up switching to coping the inside corners instead. The last step is to prep for paint and then paint the shiplap ceiling. Fill all the nail holes in with a lightweight speckle. Allow it to dry and then lightly hand sand any excess if needed. Then caulk all the gaps, seams, and corners with a paintable caulk. After caulking, prime the boards if they aren't already pre-primed like ours were. Finally, paint the shiplap and molding. We used alabaster by Sherwin-Williams in an eggshell sheen on the shiplap molding and wall. shiplap ceiling turned out in our bathroom. It's already made the ceilings look so much taller and it looks way better than the popcorn ceiling ever did. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you have any questions you can ask below as well or you can ask over in our Woodworking for the Home Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash woodworking for the home. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, make sure to subscribe and follow along for our next bathroom makeover project, which is coming up soon. Thanks again for watching.